how the HSW Act helps. It recognises modern working relationships, including moving away from the traditional employer-employee relationship to defining work and workers in a much broader sense. That businesses often work together or co-located together, therefore cooperation on health and safety is the most effective and pragmatic approach to achieving good safety outcomes. That worker engagement and participation in health and safety is one of the most effective and productive ways of identifying and finding solutions to managing risk. An officer is a person who holds a very senior leadership position in the business and has the ability to significantly influence the management of the business. A business can have more than one officer. Officers include directors, partners in a partnership, board members and chief executives. The nominated senior persons in a certificated aviation organisation could well be considered to be officers for the purposes of the HSW Act. A person who merely advises or makes recommendations to these roles is not an officer. Officers have a duty of due diligence to ensure their business complies with the HSW Act. This includes taking reasonable steps to have relevant, up-to-date knowledge of health and safety, understand the business's operations and associated health and safety risks generally, Ensure the business has appropriate resources and processes to eliminate or minimise risk. Ensure the business has processes for receiving, considering and responding to information about incidents, hazards and risks. The extent of an officer's due diligence duty will depend on the nature of the business's operations and the nature of the officer's responsibility and role. A PCBU may be a person when referring to sole traders or self-employed, however it usually refers to a business entity such as a company or an undertaking such as a not-for-profit organisation. The difference between a business and an undertaking is businesses are usually conducted with a view to making a profit and have a degree of organisation, system and continuity. Undertakings may have elements of an organisation, systems and possibly continuity, but are usually not for profit or commercial in nature. A worker is an individual who carries out work in any capacity for a business or undertaking. This includes employees, contractors, subcontractors, employees of labour hire companies, apprentices or trainees people doing work experience or work trial, volunteer workers. Others in a workplace include casual volunteers, visitors to a workplace, passengers and customers, public who come into contact with the business's work activity. Workers and others in a workplace must take reasonable care for their own health and safety and that of others. They need to follow any reasonable health and safety instructions given to them by the business. Workers are required to cooperate with any reasonable business policy or procedure relating to health and safety in the workplace.